Mrs. Higgins, get Mouse on the phone. Yes, sir. Is everything okay? No. Get Mouse on the phone now. Uh, right away, sir. Hello? Hi, Detective Mouse. Hello, Mrs. Higgins. How are you? Please hold for the mayor. Mouse, this is Mac. Good morning, Mayor. What can I do for you, sir? Quit calling me, sir. Of course, Your Honor. I apologize. And don't call me that either. I haven't been a judge since I left Madison to retire in the beautiful town of somewhere. Okay, what would you like me to call you? The best mayor this town has ever had. That's a little long, don't you think? How about Mayor Mac and Cheese? I like that. Knock it off, Mouse. We got a problem. Let me guess. Someone's chasing a turtle on the beach. No. Dead lizard in your office? No. Cockroach in your coffee. No more jokes, Mouse. This is serious. Don't tell me Cat is out dancing a la natural on the beach again. No! I got an email today. Someone tried to blackmail me. Come on, I get those emails all the time. They hacked your computer. They've been watching. Blah, blah, blah. Relax, it's nothing. No. This one had pictures. Pictures of me. Mac, did you do something stupid? This guy is an idiot. Are the pictures real? Yes. What are you doing? I'm with a girl. Do I want to know what you're doing with this girl? We're sitting on a bench in a park. You've lost me on this one, Mac. Somebody sends you a picture of you sitting at a bench with a girl. Who's the girl? The girl is my daughter. Wow, maybe this guy is an idiot. Find out who it is, Mouse. I know he's doing this to somebody else. I know it. Find out who it is. We gotta get him. Why do I need to find somebody else? I don't need the press. It's your daughter. It is your daughter, isn't it, Mac? Well, yes, but this is an election year and I don't want the story to get out. This is somewhere. I will not have blackmailers stalking my park. Which park is this blackmailer stalking? There's only one park in Sunware. Well, actually, best mayor this town has ever had, there are three parks in Sunware, Florida. The city park, the one with my plaque. Ah, you're right. There's only one park with your plaque. Have you ever been to the park? A few times, but not much. If you want to know what's happening in this town, that is the hub of activity. You wouldn't believe the conversations that people have walking in the park. And they think that nobody's listening. This guy may think he struck gold, but he's wrong, Mouse. He's wrong. Okay, best mayor this town has ever had. I'll take a walk in the park. But I've got a tea time this afternoon. All right, Mac, I'm at the park. Bounce on this guy, Mouse. You're the best detective I know. You're gonna catch him. I know it. I'm not gonna catch him on the phone, sitting in my car. Yeah, I gotta go too. I got meetings all day. Mouse. Yes, best mayor this town has ever had. You're not gonna wear that stupid hat, are you? Of course I am. That's where I get my superpowers. Let's take a walk in the park.
Hello? Hello. Hello. Hello, is this Steve? Yes, it is. How you doing, Stack? Is this Steve? Can you hear me, Steve? Is this where we're redoing that old commercial? Or can you really not hear me? <laughs> you did turn 50 six months ago. Yes, and that's the reason for the call. Happy birthday, my old friend, and welcome to the club. And what club would that be? The 50-something is the new 60-something club. Isn't that the 50-something club is the new 40-something club or something like that? Not when you play football as long as I have. You know, 50-something feels like 60-something. Uh, at least I think it does. It may be 70-something. I'm not sure yet. Hey, Stack, I got another call coming in. Can you hang on for a second? No, sir. I'm way too important to be put on hold by some second-rate ambulance chaser. I'm a lawyer. What's the difference? So how's the car business? Great. I need to hire more salespeople. Happy birthday, my old friend. Bye. I'll call you later. Hello? Hi. This is not a sales call, so don't hang up. Are you 50 but feeling like you're 60? Are you experiencing pain in your legs, feet, back, shoulders? Don't hang up. We can help. If you qualify, our service is absolutely free. Press 2 to talk with one of our friendly salespeople. Remember, this is not a sales call. One, two, three, four, five. I haven't been to the theater in years. It's those superheroes in alternate reality. Jake, I just can't believe you tried to come back from that. You said the barbell was crushing your windpipe. Maybe a little bit, but it wasn't that much weight. And she saves you by pulling the bar up. Have I got that right? She didn't save me. Then I told her I got it. You yelled at her? I didn't need her help. You really thought you should ask her out to dinner after she pulled the barbell off your neck and you yelled at her? I didn't need her help. I think she was flirting. Flirting with you? What is your point? What's your point, Lisa? My point, Kat, is that you should know why he has so many followers in the first place. What do you mean? Why do you think he has so many followers? People find him interesting. <laughs> interesting? He's only 20 years old. He hasn't accomplished anything, yet he has more followers than most world leaders. He's got six pack abs. That's an accomplishment. And he travels a lot. So do lots of people. He has lots of followers because every pitcher has a different bathing suit. And he looks good in it. Okay, maybe that's why some people follow him. That's why most people follow him. Different place around the world, same body, different bathing suit. He <sighs> gives me inspiration. I think he gives you perspiration. What's wrong with that? I feel like you are pretending to not understand what I'm saying. No, I understand what you're saying. I, I just don't agree with you. What's the problem? So what's the problem? The problem is I don't know where to hide it. You shouldn't even have it. You've never met that family. You don't know what type of people they are. I know the family has a little girl that will probably be able to handle one day that you ran over her dog with your car. Well, what if she thinks the dog just ran away? That's okay, right? I don't know, Logan. I hate confrontation. Pamela, you have a dead dog in the trunk of your car, and you're telling me you hate confrontation? I also have another problem. I'm not sure I want to know anything else. Well, if you hang up, I'm just going to text it to you. Are you sure you want to put your little lapse in judgment in writing? Will you just let me express my feelings? Go ahead. It's probably being recorded anyway. 
I was still panicking after I tossed the dog in the trunk and... 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 And when I drove away, I hit their mailbox. Wow. You killed the mailbox too? Anything else? It was a really nice mailbox. Anything else? <laughs> Anything else? No, I should be done by then. Yeah, me too. All right, perfect. What time will you be over? Oh, I just remember something. Probably not until nine. What? I have to go to my uncle's house. Why? He has a bunch of hand sanitizer and he wants me to take some. Hand sanitizer? How much does he have? Un montón, at least 10 jugs. That's not that much. I can take some. You're thinking of bottles. These jugs are gallons. This gallon? Yeah, he really got into COVID prevention. Are you giving them to me or do I have to buy them from you? No, nena, it's yours. He just wants to get them out of his garage. Done what do? This will last me the rest of my life. I appreciate it, and so will Uncle Tim. Can I ask you a somewhat related question? Sure. What about toilet paper? Does he have any toilet paper? I don't know what to do yet. My spirit wants to be a raw vegan, but my flesh wants pizza and ice cream. I'm exhausted. Let's take a break. This isn't school. Yes, it is. It's PE. What's PE? Physical education. We're homeschooled. I prefer MAC. What's MAC? Math with air conditioning. Break time's over. Bonjour, mademoiselle. You do know that's offensive to some people, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I say it. So to what do I owe this pleasure, madame, who's never been married? <laughs> I hear the ocean. Are you at the beach? Uh, yeah, I'm back home for a short visit. Wow, aren't you the jet setter? California one week, Florida the next. <laughs> Trust me, this is not going to be the norm. I just didn't want to miss my dad's 50th birthday. I'll be back tomorrow. So, how was your first week at school? I mean, lots of great people. I'm not sure. Not sure? I'm sure you're meeting lots of people. You are meeting lots of great people, aren't you? Oh, I'm meeting people. Yeah, but I'm not so sure about the great part. Tara, you're attending the most prestigious film school in the world. There's gotta be scores of interesting people. You didn't ask me if they were interesting. They are definitely interesting. <laughs> I'm sure they're great, interesting people. I don't think they like me. What do you mean? You're a very nice person. 
I know that, and you know that, but I'm not sure they know that. Sarah, please tell me you didn't wear your God guns and purity hat the first day of school. Of course not. Sarah, I don't believe you. I wore it the second day. <laughs> Sarah, you're my friend and I love you, but even I refuse to be seen with you wearing that hat. I thought it would be a good way to find like-minded people, like a billboard driving down the road. <laughs> More like a moving target. Haven't we had this conversation already? I'm attending a prestigious law school. I knew going in I would meet like-minded people. You're attending a prestigious film school. You knew going in you wouldn't meet like-minded people. Are you crazy or stupid? I prefer to call it optimistic. I had hoped to find like-minded people too. <laughs> Sarah, you're crazy. Fly back, pack your bags and fly back home. No can do, senorita. Do you think I should tell them I have a carry permit? Sarah, you don't have your gun there, do you? Your carry permit isn't valid in California. Can you even own a gun in California? You're going to jail. I did not bring my gun to school. I wish I could, but I agree, that would be a very bad idea. I'm crazy, not stupid. I was thinking of just showing people the permit as a conversation starter. Sarah! Yes, Ashley, my dear. <laughs> You're gonna get yourself canceled. Sarah, the leopard. <laughs> I love it when you use Bible lingo. But why do you say that? I'm surrounded by the most peaceful, tolerant people on the planet. I even saw a few hugging trees the other day. I'll be fine. I feel an argument coming on. I think we should change the subject. Okay. How's Sadie doing? Her name is Sadie. Why do you keep calling her Sadie? Because she has a sad face. She's a pug. She doesn't have a sad face. Whatever. How's she doing? How's she taking the move? She's... sad. How would you know that? She has such a happy face. She keeps moping around. She's always done that. No, she hasn't. She's always been a pacer. I would call pacing back and forth with a sad face moping. No, it isn't. Back in her old apartment, she pays. Here, she mopes. I think she misses you. <laughs> I think she misses listening to talk radio. We used to do that a lot, you know, when you weren't in the apartment. Maybe you should try that. <laughs> Not a chance. That would get me moping around. It could get me canceled. I'm interviewing some therapists. Did you say therapist? A dog therapist? I need to go. I have homework. <laughs> yes, Ashley, my dear, I should go too. I have to pack my concealed carry permit. I am a vegan. I am a vegan. I am a raw vegan. Are you trying to convince yourself? Pick up the pace, Mac. Pizza. Ice cream. Bacon. French fries. Cheese. Cupcakes. What about hot dogs? You forgot hot dogs. Hunka hunka burning love. What if it wasn't me on the phone? You ever thought about that? 
Actually, no, I haven't. If it wasn't you, who would it be? Your girlfriend. Come on, that's dumb. She would never call you. Hey, that's not funny. You started it. So why are you calling anyway? I'm working out. Some guys at the office were talking about lunch and I was, well, you know, I was thinking about dessert. You think about dessert a lot. Oh, that's true. I do. I like dessert. You know, there's more to life than dessert. Really? Like what? Hug a hug a burning love? Don't get me wrong, I love dessert. I just like it when it results in having babies. When can we start having dessert without taking precautions? Precautions? <laughs> That's funny. You're avoiding the question. I, I just... I want lots and lots of practice before we stop taking precautions. You, you know, I, I... We've only been married six months. I don't want a family yet. Did I mention lots and lots of practice? Sign. Mom, I know you want grandkids. I don't need a man, I have my dog. So what's the plan for dinner? You'll never guess who I talked to today. The CEO of Lollipolly. Really? Wow, wow, that, that, is, that is neat. What's the Lollipolly? Just some business, I don't know. And why is this so neat? They must be doing pretty well for themselves. They just booked a 10,000 square foot house on a lake in Tennessee. This place is unbelievable. We gotta go there someday. Do you know how many times you say that? We gotta go there someday? I know, but it's true. We gotta go to some of these places. Okay, but maybe find something a little smaller? Maybe one bedroom in the mountains? If you saw this place, you'd wanna go there. Is it in the mountains? Yeah, and it's on a lake. How much? 10,000. 10,000 a month? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's 10,000 a week. Sheesh. We do not have that kind of money. We might never have that kind of money. We might. I have faith in your abilities. Hey, I appreciate your confidence, but that's still a lot of money and that's a big place. I can't imagine needing a place that big. If we had lots of kids and lots and lots of grandkids, we'd need a place that big for our summer home. Yes. Yes, we would. Hey. I gotta go. Another call's coming in. What time are you coming home? Around six. Okay, you pick up something for dinner, and I'll pick up whipped cream for dessert. Hello, it's Donna. Hey girl, what's up? Hi, Nicole. What's up with you? Did you hear about Sandy? No. What's up with Sandy? She got married. No way. Did she marry Joe? No. She met some guy in Vegas last week working a show, and bam, they got married. How stupid is that? I know. How stupid is that? How stupid is that? You got that right. Why would he just jump off a bridge? I don't know, because it's there. It wasn't that high, maybe 20 feet. There was water, but it was only two feet deep. Good thing he didn't die. It could have been a lot worse. So, how long will he be in the hospital for? However long it takes to put his legs back together. Amber, that guy's an idiot. Give him a break, Emily. He's not an idiot, just occasionally stupid. I don't know, Amber. I don't know, Christian. I think it's a bad idea, Joe. You follow this girl on social media? Yeah, I do. She posts a new picture every day. Seriously, a new picture of a derriere every day? How many different angles can one take? Every day? It's more than just angles. Sometimes she's at the beach, sometimes at the mall, sometimes at home. At the mall? I'm trying to imagine this girl taking pictures of her, you know, at the mall. No, wait a minute. I'm not gonna imagine her taking pictures of her derriere at the mall. She has pictures from all over too. Hollywood, Miami Beach, San Francisco, Mount Rushmore. Great, now I got this image in my mind of this girl taking pictures on a green screen in her apartment. No, she really goes to these places. She has over 10 million followers. 10 million followers? Who are these people? 
people like me, I guess. What does that say about you? Mount Rushmore? Really? Yeah, she's got a flag around her waist. Abe in the background. I don't need to hear any more about this Miss Derriere. 10 million followers? Why do you keep saying Derriere? And what is that anyway? It's a euphemism for your behind. What? What's a euthism? Never mind. Did your wife know about this? <laughs> no. Are you kidding? She'd go nuclear if she found out I was following Behind USA. She can't know. Did you say Behind USA? You're joking, right? No, that's her page. Behind USA. She's very patriotic. Nothing like my wife. USA? USA. 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 That's what it was like. It was awesome. Wow. I wish I could go to a Ryder Cup. That would be incredible. Maybe someday you will. Maybe, but my dad owns a lawn care business. Your dad owns a hedge fund. As similar as those sound, they couldn't be different businesses. Are we going to the fair next week? No, I'm leaving again. Leaving again? Where are you going? Monaco. Monaco? What are you doing? Taking a cruise on some billionaire's yacht? How did you know? I was joking. Well, yeah. One of my dad's clients, he invited us to go on his yacht for a week to go to the Mediterranean. So it'll be okay, I guess. You don't sound too interested. Yeah, well, same thing as last year. Uh, I'd rather go to the fair with you. Really? Want to trade? <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is not a sales call, so don't hang up. <laughs> yes, it is. Hello? Hello. This is William with Financial Benefits. Your benefit or mine? Are you in need of expert financial advice? No, but I could use some other advice. How do I get you guys to quit calling me? Die. Did you say die? Yes, D-I-E, die. I don't think that would stop you from calling. It would certainly prevent me from answering. Hello? Hi, this is not a sales call, so don't hang up. The AAPRCRTP is offering free services for a limited time to our monthly subscribers. You'll receive great benefits like discounts on prescriptions, vitamins, and right now, absolutely free, get important, valuable, worthy advice on how to maximize your social security benefits. Press two now to become a monthly subscriber and receive all these free benefits. Seriously, is this really happening? <laughs> Hey girl, what's up? Nothing much, just walking in the park with my dad. How about you? I'm at the football field with my mom. You're probably sitting on your behind. You know me so well. So why are you calling me? Nothing important. I just thought I'd give my future wife a call and say hi. Future wife? That's a bit bold, don't you think? Emma, you know we were made for each other. Really? Let me expand on my knowledge of Mr. Eli. You establish that you're probably sitting on your behind in the bleachers while your mom's running the track. In 40 years, you'll probably be fat, bald, and sitting on your easy chair watching some sitcom. And you'll be right there next to me. Think again. Emma, are you there? Hey, Mom, how's it going? What do I owe the pleasure of your presence? Nothing, just thought I'd join you. Really? Joining me for a little exercise? What's wrong with a little exercise? I saw you were on the phone. Who were you talking to? Nobody. I have a feeling nobody has a name, and her name is Emma. Maybe. Pick up the pace, Game Boy. Hello? Hello. Are you planning to vote this next election? Yes, on election day and in person. asking people what they're most interested in. This helps our leaders decide what they should believe in. Is this for real? Press one if you want lower taxes for yourself. Press two if you want higher taxes for those making more money than you. Press three if you want to defund the military. Press four if you want to defund the police. Is this some kind of joke? Press five if you support guaranteed income programs. 
Press 6 if you believe in offering human rights to animals. Press 7 if you support the Second Amendment. I definitely support the Second Amendment. Thank you. You've been added to the appropriate list. What did I just do? Hello? Happy birthday, Dad. The big 5-0. I love you. Sarah, I'm so glad it's you. I'm not a picky eater. I'll eat anything that's low-carb, low-calorie, low-fat, gluten-free, sugar-free, unprocessed, raw, and organic. Nah, you're not a picky eater. Oh, it's Mac. Definitely not a picky eater. What do you want? That's no way to talk to your friend, especially when he's the mayor. Okay, best mayor this town has ever had. What do you want? Are we making any progress? We? What, you got a mouse in your pocket? Great, another mouse joke. Are you making any progress? Yes and no. I keep getting unwanted phone calls. Are you gonna catch this guy or not? You know something? You were right. There are some interesting people at the park. And some very interesting people. Are you maximizing your lip reading superpower? Honka honka burning love? This is gonna be an interesting day. Fat, bald, sitting in an easy chair? That girl's got some spunk. Perspiration? That's funny. Dead dog in a trunk? That's gonna stink. Hey, Mac, I gotta go. Me too. I have meetings, planning meetings for next week. Keep me in the loop. Hello? Hi, this is John with Save Our Planet Solar Solutions. How are you today? I'm doing great, John. But I'm not interested in a solar solution. I'm interested in a nuclear solution, like a micro power plant. Do you have any of those? Uh, no, sir. Save Our Planet only offers wind and solar solutions. Oh, that's too bad. Well, call me when you have one of those. Yo, mama. What? Hey, Steve, how's it going, good buddy? What'd you just say? Yo, mama. <laughs> Is that how you answer the phone? Well, let me think about that. The phone rang, I slid the little slider thingy and said, yo, mama. So yeah, that's how I answered the phone. You're strange. I knew it was you. That's how technology works, you know. Your name pops up when you call. And there it was in big, bold letters. Ambulance Chaser Steve. Didn't they teach you that in law school? Enough of the lawyer jokes. Okay, so why did you call? Let me guess. You needed some legal advice from a former football star transitioning to a highly successful car dealer. This election is nuts. You know that? It's nuts. There's nothing but liars, 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 liars everywhere. You're right. What would you expect? They're lawyers. I said liars, not lawyers. I know what you said. You said they're liars. I said they're lawyers, both of which are pretty accurate statements. Great, more jokes. So why do they all have to lie? I don't know, they're your candidates. You tell me, why do they lie? And why do you vote for them? I'm talking about your side. My side? Which side is that? We're both Americans. We're on the same side. Do you have any idea how hard it is to have a conversation with you? Yes, I do. Sometimes the truth is hard to understand. Come on, seriously? Okay. Some politicians lie because they have to, but it's usually because people can't handle the truth. Wasn't that line in a movie? Yeah, but movies aren't real. Elections are. Come on, Steve. Politicians say what people want to hear. You know that. Well, your side is lying. 
Really? I thought your side was lying. Why are we having this conversation? Because you called me. And because we're friends, and we will always be friends. I can't promise that. Bye. Later, Papa Bear. Could you pass me the fuzzy lemon, please? Hello? Hi, Mr. Drago. This is Avinash with Missile Mortgage on a recorded line. How are you? Who? Missile Mortgage, your mortgage lender. How are you, sir? My mortgage lender? Yes, sir. You have a mortgage with my company. Missile Mortgage. Why did you tell me we're on a recorded line? Excuse me? You think I'm not going to tell you to get lost because we're on a recorded line? Sir, I'm not trying to sell you something. We have some- Then why are you calling? Sir, we record our calls to protect you and us for legal purposes. Yeah, and if I say something stupid, you're going to use it against me. And if you say something stupid, you lose the recording. Sir, please, let me talk. I'm only calling to decrease your interest rate with us. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that, uh, Mr. Uh, Avenue. <laughs> My name is Avinash, sir. All right. Well, um, what do you need from me? How do we get this process started? Well, sir, to start, I need to verify your identity by asking you for the last four digits of your social security number. Oh. All right, um, it's, uh, seven, seven, one, zero. Thank you, Mr. Drago. Now I ran some numbers with different terms and- Wait a second. You don't record that part where I- Record what part, sir? The part where I just gave you the numbers to my- Social Avenue? Yes, of course we recorded that part, sir. What's the matter with you people? Please don't hang up, sir. I'm hanging up. Please, don't hang up. Christian, please don't hang up. Joe, this is the third time you needed to talk to me about this subject this week. Hear me out one more time. This is important. It's not just a gut feeling this time. All right. When I leave the house, I text my wife to let her know where I'm going. Okay. I send her the address to the job that I'm going to be at so she knows where I am. And she always sends back a thumbs up. What do you think of that? It's normal. She's acknowledging your text. No, my friend. A thumbs up is the universal symbol for good. Great thumbs up. I don't understand. Well, when I text her that I'm on my way home, she says, okay. Okay? What's your point? Well, what's with the downgrade? When I text her when I'm leaving, she responds with a thumbs up. When I tell her I'm coming home, she just says, okay. The next time I see you, I'm taking your phone away. Christian, come on. Joe, you've lost your phone privileges. It's every time. I leave the house, she's all thumbs up. I'm coming home. And it's okay. She's happier to have me leave than come home. So every time she texts you, should she send confetti and party hats? What if okay means okay, it's time for me to get my lover out of the house before my husband comes home? Lover? Who are you, Shakespeare? 
You know, I should trust my gut. Trust your gut? Get some therapy first. Maybe you should reflect on why you're being paranoid about this. I know spouses lie to each other, but this bothers me. I don't lie to my wife. Come on, sure you do. No, I don't. I think she's hiding something. Really? Like what? Six pack USA? That's barely a white lie. I think there's more than that. I'm gonna confront her. Do not confront her. Why not? Why not? Don't do it. What's the big deal? She is not interested in you. You don't know that. You weren't there. I didn't need to be. You know, the more I think about it and the more I'm talking to you, I'm starting to think she hit that ball over the fence on purpose. It was a high fence. A high fence? A particularly high fence. Tennis court fence. Maybe she's bad at tennis. No way, man. But the way she's dressed, she looks like she's sponsored by some athletic wear company. What? Yeah. She's got a look, man. She's wearing a tennis outfit. She looks like a pro tennis player. She's got the look? Really? Yeah. She's got the look, man. She's a girl. Do you think she's going to play tennis in jeans and a t-shirt? Why not? I would. OK, Jake, let's get back to planet Earth. She hit the ball over the fence, plain and simple. She asked you to throw it back. That's it. I haven't even told you about the way she thanked me. How'd she thank you? She said, thanks. OK, so why do you think she's interested in you? Also, the way that she looked at me after she asked me to throw her the ball. The way she looked at you? Yeah, like, hey, can you throw the ball back to me? Why didn't you kiss me? You know what? She sounds great for you. Run up to her and give her a kiss. Don't hesitate, the moment is right. Maybe I will. I'll tell her about this conversation too. I encourage that. Can you wait till I get there so I can get this on video? We can play it at your wedding. Jeff, you are not going to believe what just happened. What, she blew you a kiss? They hit the ball over the fence, again. What? Hi, sorry, do you mind? Jake, are you still there? Thank you. Jake, are you there? Don't do something stupid. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I just can't believe what just happened. They hit the ball over the fence, again. Sounds like she wants you to meet her parents. No, this was the other girl. See, just like I said, they're just bad at tennis. No, I think they're both interested in me. You hit it over last time, I hit it over this time. Maybe we should just stop our pathetic attempt at tennis. <laughs> but we look great. Yeah, we do, but maybe we shouldn't get carried away watching movies and then starting a whole new sport because we went on a shopping spree and the clothes were cute. I think that guy over there is talking about us. He's giving me the creeps. Really? Maybe we should go. I think they're talking about me. They're, they're looking over here and pointing at me. Are they on the phone? No, why would they be on the phone? Calling the police, maybe? Oh no, they're leaving. I gotta go. I gotta get their numbers or something. Well, that's my cue to get off the phone. I look forward to hearing the rest of this story later at the police station. Yeah, sounds good. I gotta go, I'll catch you later. <laughs> catch you later, Rage. You know, I gotta finish my workout. No, don't go. I need to drive faster. Don't drive faster. I mean, you're the neighborhood. You don't, just don't run over some kid because you're paranoid. I'm not paranoid. He's following me home, I know it. I can feel it. He could be our neighbor. Then why has he been laying on his horn at me? Wait, he what? Yes, every time that I let him get close enough, he starts honking his horn. Plus, he doesn't look like any of our neighbors. Oh, have you considered seeing why he's honking? And pull over so he can kidnap me? He's driving a pickup truck, Derek. Rachel, some of our neighbors have pickup trucks. Oh, no. What? There's a red light. <laughs> Come on. I have to drive through it. 
No, you don't. You, you're being paranoid. He's going to kidnap me. You don't know how these people operate. You don't watch enough TV. No, I think you are watching too much TV. Oh no, he's getting out of his truck. What? He's walking towards my car. Oh no, the light's still red. Derek, what am I gonna do? If I scream, call 911. Hello? Oh, Rage. It sounds like you're having a nice conversation with a crazy truck driver. If you don't say anything in five, uh, ten minutes, I might call the police. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Thank you. Hello? Rach? Rachel? I'm back. Wow. You're still alive. So the gun toting, cigarette smoking, beer belly truck driver didn't keep not you? Rage, are you there? Yeah, I know you're there. I may have kind of, sort of, possibly left the cat on the roof of the car when I left the animal clinic. Honey? Sweetie, hunk a hunk of burning love. Are you still there? Did you kill my cat? I thought it was our cat. Honey, do you still love me? Are we still married? Is he dead? No, oh, he's a bit traumatized. He's clutching onto my arm. Don't worry, it's just a little bit of blood. Yours or the cat's? Well, a little bit of both. Are you mad? It's only a cat, Rage. You are my wife. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm a little shook up. So, are you ready to admit that I was right? Weren't you a bit paranoid? <laughs> no. We need to talk about how you handled this situation. How I handle the situation? What situation are you referring? You being kidnapped or trying to kill my cat? You seem to handle me being kidnapped pretty casually. You weren't kidnapped. Well, I could have been. In broad daylight, somewhere Florida, at a red light? I could have been. this? Someone who knows something. Is this a joke? No, but your wife might find behind USA interesting. Who is this? Someone who knows something, but I'm willing to forget what I know for thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? Are you nuts? I am not going to be blackmailed. Okay. Never mind. Maybe your wife will enjoy the story. I don't have a thousand dollars. Then I suggest changing your habits. What's next? An affair? Who is this? I'm yours, you are mine. Hey Derek, how's it going? Hey Logan, good, good man. How are you doing? I'm taking a walk in the park. Yeah, me too. Well, right now I'm just taking a break in the park. <laughs> how's Rachel? Oh, she's good. Good, but <laughs> and you're never going to believe what happened today. What? Well, she thought someone was trying to kidnap her and she she almost killed her cat that's nothing pamela killed a dog 
For real? Yeah, and a mailbox. <sighs> Hello? I'm having a tough day. Me too! My husband doesn't love me. What happened? Someone was trying to kidnap me and Derek didn't care. That's awful, but you know Derek loves you. I know, but he could care a little more. How's your day going? I experienced an unfortunate situation today and Logan just totally blew it off. Oh no, what happened? What happened is not important. How he handled it is. <laughs> What happened with you? It's not important. I really needed his support today. It failed miserably. Ditto. Why do you sound like a chipmunk? I'm too scared to drink tap water because of climate change. And the price of bottled water is too expensive. I can't afford that. I'm just so upset about it. Forever intertwined. Forever intertwined. Yes. <sighs> okay. Are you going to call her or not? Okay, I'll call her. Hello. Hey, Emily. It's Jonathan. Hi, Johnny. Guess what I'm doing? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm writing a song about you, about us. I'm in the park with my guitar. You're singing at the park? Yeah. Oh, well, that, that's nice. Hey, Emily, we need to talk. What do you mean? We are talking. There's no point in dragging this out. I think you're a great girl, but I'm in college now. And this whole long distance high school relationship thing isn't working out. Long di you live an hour away. High school? I mean, you're not here. There's so much we could be doing together if you were here. Okay. I can come and see you more often. Or maybe you could come here. I you haven't come to visit since you've left. No, no, you don't need to come here more often. That's not it. It's another girl, isn't it? It's not another girl. Actually, it's a lot of girls. There's a lot of girls up here. What do you mean, lots of girls? I know you're on a baseball scholarship, but <laughs> what are you, expanding your knowledge of playing the field? Come on, Em, don't make this difficult. Let me guess. You've had to go to too many frat parties talking about your girlfriend, right? I'm in college. I want the full college experience. College isn't just about learning. It's about living, too. So that's it. I'm not saying it's over for us forever. Just not right now. I see. Are, are you looking for something better or just a bit more fun? Like Ecstasy Island or whatever those shows you watch are called. Emily, I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're energized. You can't wait to get off the phone and take that great big sigh of relief. I've got to go, Emily. I got another call coming in. Yeah, right. Goodbye, Jonathan. I got to go, too. Hello? Jonathan? Hey, Grandpa. How you doing? Ah, this darn thing. Jonathan? Can you hear me? Jonathan, how are you, kid? I think I had you on mute. I'm doing well. How's college life going? It's great. Having a lot of fun. Oh, that's great. Say, how's Emily? I really like that girl. I gotta go, Grandpa. I'm on my way to class.
Let me get this straight. You broke your ankle running to the bathroom? Yeah, you're right. You know it and I know it. So why are you arguing with me? Because I want you to be wrong. I'm not wrong. He's playing around. He's moving on. Better pastures and all that. Come on, Natalie, you're my friend. Don't be saying better pastures. That hurts. I know there's nothing but cow pies in those pastures, but he doesn't think so. Move on, my friend. Move on. I don't know. It's time to move on, Emily. I know. You're right. I'm a dad. I can't believe it. I'm a dad. You're not a dad. Well, uh, at least not yet. Oh, yes, I am. My wife's pregnant and we're having a baby. What else would you call it? You haven't had the baby yet. We're not having a puppy dog here. We're having a human being. Ergo, I'm a dad. Fine, if you say so. Is it a boy or a girl? Is there anything else? It's either going to be a boy or it's going to be a girl. No. I mean, do you know the gender? Too soon to tell. And honestly, I, I don't want to know. You don't want to know? No, I don't. I, I want to be surprised. That's weird. Doctor says less than 5% of couples wait to find out. I'll know when he or she arrives. I can believe that. you always been a little different. That's okay by me, Russ. I don't mind being different. I never have and I never will. Well, congrats, Pete. You're going to be a father. Correction, I am a father. Hola, senorita. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Quit saying that. Okay, madame, who's never been married. What do you want? I need some advice. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. That's my advice. I'm working on a plan to get along with the fellows at school. Fellows? Who are these guys? Oh, <laughs> fellows are what we call the other students. We're all fellows. Really? We have fellows here too, but they're in a different class. What do you mean different class? Are they engineering students or something? No, they're like an elite group of students. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I'm figuring it out. Oh, that makes sense. I'm attending Elite Film Academy, so I guess we're all fellows. Didn't you have a question? Yes, I'm working on a script for my first project, and I need something that's not gonna get too much opposition. Any suggestions? I don't know, it's film school. Something original, something edgy. Maybe, but I'm on a different edge. What do you mean? Well, there's a guy who has a story about two girls living in a cave, and they spend most of their time talking about how much they hate men getting quite a lot of buzz. Movie about girls who hate men. I wouldn't call it original, but it sounds interesting. Then there's a girl who has a story about a priest who molests boys. And that's getting some buzz too. <laughs> that's definitely not original, but it sounds like you got some creative minds over there. I thought I had a good story at first, until I couldn't find anyone who wanted to work on it with me. Well, what is it? It's a simple love story with a twist. It's about a guy and a girl who fall in love, get married, and the movie ends with her telling him they're having a baby. What's the twist? They get married before having sex. That's cool, right? You call that a twist? Uh, compared to the other stories around here, it is. There's been some interest, but with changes. What changes? Well, one fellow didn't want them married. No surprise there. Something about it being a real love story. And another one didn't want them married either. And she thought the pregnancy should be unwanted. She thought the couple should fight over having the baby and the woman's right to choose. Oh, and one guy thought that the boyfriend should kill the girlfriend and the baby. Those sound like some interesting plot twists. What's the problem? It's garbage, that's the problem. I don't think I'm gonna be able to offer any advice. 
I didn't think so. But I thought I'd give it a shot. Well, my day hasn't gone well. Why? What happened? One of my classmates is a racist. Really? What makes you say that? He wanted to know if I thought I got accepted here because of my race. Don't you mean the color of your skin? Let's not have that conversation. Okay. Anyway, he's a racist. Really? I'm not sure what to say. If I remember right, I once had a roommate, let me think, that I've known my whole life, live next door to me and ask me a very similar question about six months ago. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. You were curious too. I don't think you're a racist. Are you a racist? What's your point? I would tell him exactly what I told you. The color of your skin has nothing to do with it. You were accepted because you deserve it. So my advice is cut him some slack. What color is his skin? Why does that matter? Exactly. Is he cute? Hello, best mayor this town has ever had. Detective Mouse at your service. How's it going? Some of the conversations are very compelling. There was one conversation that piqued my interest, and then there was a second that really got my attention. I'm being blackmailed. Really? By who? If I knew that, he'd be dead. You don't mean that, do you? Yes, I do. How much does he want? thousand dollars <laughs> well that's not very ambitious what does he have on you you me what do you mean me i'm married you're not i've got money and he wants a piece of it is that not clear enough for you okay your attitude is a definite turnoff you don't have to be mean Sorry, you, you caught me at a bad time. So what are you gonna do? I haven't decided. I could pay him. I could kill him. Pay him, kill him. Pay him, kill him. I don't know. I could go either way. Any other options? Well, I could ask my wife to pay him. Or call the police. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I think you should think less about the blackmailer and more about us tonight. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This guy's in big trouble. And he's an idiot. What makes you think it's a guy? Women aren't this stupid. Well, I don't know if I can agree with that. I've seen both men and women do some pretty stupid things. I'm in public office. You'll never hear me say women are stupid. I can't argue with that. But I don't think our blackmailer is stupid. Just get him. I'm not yours. You're not mine. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Hello? Hi, sweetie. How are you? Are you on your lunch break? Mm, what do you want? Is that how you talk to your beautiful, hot young bride? You're not my bride anymore. You're my wife. Minor details. Yeah, whenever you call me sweetie, you want something. So, what do you want? Ouch. Can't I just call my husband the love of my life on his lunch break? Yeah, sure you can. Yeah. And I know you pretty well, so... What do you want? Do you remember that cute outfit? 
the one with the pretty purple tassels on the neck and the matching bottoms. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. There's just, there's just too many cute outfits. That's what it is. There are. Well, I know it's not part of the budget, but it's on sale. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. It's also machine washable, which means we'd save a lot of money on dry cleaning. Oh, and think of how much money we'll save if we don't buy it. Are you still there? Yeah. I'm here. Buy it. Really? Sure. If you want it, buy it. We'll take it out of next month's budget. I can bag lunch it for a while. I'll try it on for you when I get it. That sounds good. Are you okay? You don't sound normal. It's been a tough day. We have an empty chair at the office. Is that unusual, people calling out sick? This one didn't call in sick. What happened? Was there a round of layoffs? No. Okay, I don't get it. What's the big deal? He's missing. His wife came in today asking if we knew anything. Wow. How long has he been missing? A few days. She confronted a girl here. Confronted a girl here? What do you mean, confronted? Well, it was behind closed doors, so I don't really have the whole story, but this guy was kind of a jerk, and you know, he's quite the ladies' man. Why do you say that? Let's just say, rumors suggest he got around. Oh, so you think that his wife thinks he was having an affair with that girl? I don't know, but based on the body language, it was certainly possible. I would just stay out of it. Too late. I'm up to my eyeballs. I worked with this guy. I, I, I gotta get back to the office. I love you. Love you too. What do we have here? Could this be our blackmailer? It's a woman. Mac's not going to like that. Is she recording the conversation? Does she have a mic on the bench? Hello? Hey, Mouse, how's it going? I can't talk right now. What do you mean you can't talk right now? I don't know how else to say it. I can't talk right now. Well, what are you doing? Are you making any progress? I'm looking at our blackmailer. Really? Who is he? It's not a he. It's a she. Are you sure? I guess in today's world, I can't be 100% sure. But he, she, they, looks like a she. I knew you could do it, Mouse. I knew it. It's her. That's right, Mouse. You got her. You got her, that good for nothing blackmailer. No, Mac. It's Liz. Mouse. That's not funny. Are you joking? I wish I was, Mac. The Widowmaker's in Sunwear.
Hey, bro, what's up? You golfing today? Hey, Kay. This isn't a personal call. You don't sound right. What's going on? She's here, Kay. Who's here? The Widowmaker. She's in Sunware. I believe she's here because she wants to meet you. Personally or professionally? Both. I need you at Sunware City Park now. Do I need a team? I hope not, but have one ready. Okay, I'm leaving now. You move out. You move out. No, you move out. I leave the dog in the apartment. You leave. I'm keeping him. You can't take my dog, and it's my apartment. You move out. Can we stop arguing? I don't want either of us to move out. No, this has been building up for a while. I just don't think we're good roommates. This is about feeding your dog apple cores, isn't it? Was that the final straw? I've asked you to stop feeding him people food at least a hundred times. But it's his favorite food. Favorite? My dog will eat anything. It's not like he has a palate. He wags his tail especially hard when he sees me with an apple. <laughs> it's because he knows that you're gonna give him the apple core. That's not true. It's his favorite. He doesn't have a favorite. He eats his own vomit. And he vomits every time you give him an apple core. Okay, you're right. I'll stop giving him apple cores. I still want you to move out. What? Why? It's not just about you feeding my dog. What then? Those were my apples. Oh, come on, he's your dog. Your apple's your dog. What's the problem? I don't like sharing. I know you take bites here and there out of my food. <laughs> I even mark the milk jug because I want to see if it's going to go down. <laughs> I was thirsty. I would give you some of my milk if you were thirsty. You never have your own milk. Okay, so what I'm hearing is you don't like sharing your food with me or your dog. I can work on this. This isn't something you work on. People work on changing bad habits. You're stealing. Well, I think you're being selfish. Please, just move out, please. I will. And if I beat you home, I'm taking your dog. No, you're not. I'm gonna eat all your apples and give your dog all the apple cores. Then he's gonna vomit all of the apartment. Fine, I'll give you till the end of the week to find another place. Just leave my dog out of this. Are you gonna help? Help with what? Well, there's the packing. And I was hoping to borrow some money for the bus fare and, and maybe the deposit for the new place. Obviously, I was hoping for dinner tonight. No, get out. You're moving out tonight. Oh, come on, we're friends, please. Get out. Oh, just one more night. Get out. Get out. Okay, okay. Hurry, before they see you. Uh, what are they gonna do, arrest me? I can't believe you did this. You asked me to. I know, thank you. Why did you want me to get these books anyway? I didn't know you could read. Very funny. Just promise me you'll replace them later. I don't have any books to replace them with. But that's the point of a little book library. You take a book, you leave a book. I thought you knew you were stealing them. If you weren't stealing them, then why were you running to your car? Because you had me take five. You're only supposed to take one. Well, what's done is done. Good work. Thank you. Are you even going to read these? Probably. Mostly. Maybe two of them. Okay, let's see what we have here. Book one, Into the Money, A Guide to Options Trading. I'll definitely read that one. 
Book two, To Kill a Mockingbird. I'll read that one too. Book three, The Subtle Art of Not Caring. Hmm. Uh, sounds like a good book for you to read. I don't think I need to read that one. Okay, that's interesting. What about the last two, Robinson Crusoe and Ode Yeller? I saw the movies. The book is never as good as the movies. Why exactly did I take these books for you? Well, I needed them to fill up my bookshelf. I met this really hot girl and she's into books. I'm taking these back, this is just plain wrong. If she sees books on my bookshelf, she's gonna be impressed. Not if you never read them. What's she gonna do, quiz me? I'm going back, I'm returning these. Why? Because this is wrong and you made me an accomplice. You're not an accomplice. You're the only one who stole something, so. You're just a criminal. So then why would I not return these? Because you're my friend and I appreciate it? You're the criminal here. This was all your idea. You should really consider opening that book about not caring. It'll teach you a few things about friendship. I know all I need to know about friendship and you're a bad, bad, really bad friend. Well, I think you're a really good friend even though you tried to blame me for your criminal activity. I'm definitely going back. Take a moment and read the book about not caring. No. Jeff, do you have an issue about caring? Jake, no I don't. Read the book. I'm not reading the book. You have to, you'll never get into the school you want if you fail English. I'm not going to fail English. If you don't read the book, you are assigned you will. Haven't you ever heard of spiff notes? You can't pass the class by reading online summaries. Everyone reads the online summaries. I read the online summaries, and I read the book. I don't know how you can sit through a book twice. You probably wouldn't sign anything from Charles Dickens. I love Charles Dickens. I don't understand why anyone likes that guy. He's viewed as the greatest author of the Victorian era. Haven't you ever wondered why the characters in his books take two pages to open a door? What do you mean? I marked in the book whenever a character started to turn a doorknob. Dickens wrote about the doorknob for two pages. He's trying to set a scene. It's good. I think Dickens was paid by the word. The more words he wrote, the more he was paid. That's why it's so wordy. So you have read it. Good for you. I read a few pages and slammed the book shut. I got better ways to spend my time. What are you going to do when you're tested on it if you don't read it? I'll read the online summaries. Maybe ask Chat AI a few questions. I'll take a B. These are okay. I think it's cheating. I see it as using my resources. You used to be a better student. I thought you worked harder. I don't work hard. I work smart. You're so clever. Clever, intelligent, and good look. Are you okay with this? With what? With cheating. If it's for a good cause, then sure. School won't know. I don't think they give scholarships to students who cheat and get B's in English. They do if a student can throw a 95 mile per hour fastball. They shouldn't. No longer on my mind. Hello, who is this? Hello, Bruce. My name is Mouse. Got a minute? Seriously, I don't have time for crank calls. Trust me, this is not a crank call. This call could save your life. Who is this? I really don't like repeating myself, but for you, I'll make an exception. Detective Michael Mouse, Sunware Police Department. You're that blackmailer, aren't you? You're trying my patience, Bruce. And I'd like to think you're not this stupid. So let's just cut to the chase. You're having an affair. You're being blackmailed. Would you rather I catch the blackmailer or be dead? I'm listening. Down the path in front of you is a green bench. Why don't you have a seat? Don't go down that path, Bruce. Those are tan benches. Sit at the green bench on the main path. What's the difference? Wait a minute. How do you know I'm here? Where are you? 
Go sit at the green bench, Bruce. Listen very carefully. After our little chat, I need you to walk down the path near the fountain. Head down the brick path to your right and sit at the tan bench under the trees. It's very important you sit at this bench. Do you know what bench I'm talking about? Yeah, I think so. It's the same bench you were talking to Julia at earlier. Yes, I know the bench. Next, I need you to have a fake conversation with your gal pal without her on the phone. Can you do this? Yes. Why am I doing this? I'm trying to catch the blackmailer and save your life, Bruce. Can you do it? This is really weird, dude. Trust me, it could get a lot worse than weird. In this fake conversation, tell your mistress you're going to pay the blackmailer. It doesn't need to be a long conversation. Can you do this? Yeah. I think so. Don't think so, Bruce. No, so. It needs to look and sound real. So, what am I supposed to do after this fake conversation? Get up and leave the park. I also recommend calling your wife and start begging for forgiveness before this goes to trial and you and Julia are called in as witnesses. But that's just my opinion. And don't call her from the park. Leave the park. Call her from your car. Why? What's going on in the park? Bruce, quit asking questions and focus on the task before you. Your life depends on it. Dude, you are freaking me out. Good. Hi, Julia, it's Bruce. Are we still good for tonight? Great, I am really looking forward to it. I need to relax. I'm taking care of our problem that we discussed earlier today. Are you getting this? Yes. Move in when he gets up. No, I'm not killing him. I'm paying him. Do you think she's armed? No, that's not her style. She's looking for some personal time. So let's give it to her. We keep this low key. We don't need to make a scene. Okay, I'll move in quietly. I'll see you tonight. I promise to be a better roommate. Just quit feeding my dog apples. And I'll try to buy my own food too. Some pervert with binoculars is hiding in the bushes. Are you okay? Should I call the police?
It's been a long time, Mouse. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. This isn't necessary. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If it goes to court. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Come on, Mouse. You know that I'm an attorney, a really good attorney. Do you understand these rights as I have just read them to you? Yes. Can we chat now? I feel so honored. I have my own little mouse club. <laughs> Mickey with a Y and Mickey with an I. <laughs> and I'm the cat. You don't mind me calling you Mickey, do you, Michael? Not at all, Liz. Oh, yes. I heard that you had a nickname for me in Madison. What was it? Lizzie? Widowmaker? No, just Widowmaker. You better be careful with that mouse. Someone might consider that slander. Some might consider it to be true. That has to be proven in a court of law. Despite your efforts, that hasn't happened. So how's Mac? I hear he's the mayor. He misses his best friend, your ex-husband. Come on, Mouse. You know he's not my ex-husband. Yes, my apologies. Your dead husband, Mac's best friend. My husband, the judge. <laughs> he was quite the ladies' man, but you didn't hear about that on the news. But I'm sure you found out. That's what you call motive, isn't it? Did you ever tell Mac? No, I'm sure you didn't. Why soil a good friendship? Why are you in sunwear? My lip reading skills got a little rusty. <laughs> you know, that's not true. It's beautiful here. Who wouldn't want to visit sunwear, Florida? <laughs> After you and Mac left Madison, I got really bored. Plus, I wanted to meet your sister. What a great story. A Russian girl adopted by an older American couple who always wanted a little girl. I am not from Russia. Oh, I I'm sorry, my mistake. Romania, it is Romania, isn't it? That must have been a tough day when both parents died in that horrible accident. There you were, Michaela. Little Mickey with no parents. But then, big bro Mickey stepped in. I must say, you did a good job raising this girl. Wow. <laughs> She's quite a specimen. I got you this time. You're not getting out of this one. <laughs> Blackmail? This is nothing. A piece of the puzzle. The tip of the iceberg. <laughs> You're going to jail. Hopefully for a long time. Jail? Come on, Mouse. This is blackmail. And petty blackmail at that. The courts don't care about this. <laughs> You're going to lose your license. To practice law? <laughs> That's okay, I can still practice law, but from a different perspective. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what? Don't play games. But games are so much fun, especially strategy games. Like, why is Mickey here? She works for the FBI. Is that part of your strategy? And I've heard from some very reliable sources that she is actually top tier. I hope she's better than you. 
You're climbing the wrong tree, Cat. Really? Does the other mouse have an opinion? I love playing games, but it's less challenging playing with amateurs. Ooh, that gave me chills. Thank you for that, Mickey. With an eye? Why did you take your silly hat off? I love that silly hat. I hated Jack's hat. Stupid cheese head. I hated that hat. What's with guys and hats? Well, we probably should get going. I left my sunscreen in the car. <laughs> So, which mouse is taking the cat home? No longer, no longer, no longer on my mind. Yeah that one. Hey. Don't stop playing because of me. I couldn't help hearing you. You're really good. Do you mind if I sit and listen? No. Go ahead. Hello? Good morning, my beautiful boy. Have a happy birthday, have a happy birthday, have a happy birthday, have a happy day. Hi, Mom. Thank you. Happy birthday, son. Not bad for a solo. Where's Dad? We'll crawl later together, but I wanted to catch you before anyone else did. How to do? Well, my friend Stack called, so technically he beat you. Ah, uh, Stack. How's he doing? He bought a car dealership after playing football, didn't he? Yes, he did. How's he doing? He's selling cars. I think it's neat you guys are in the same business. He's selling cars, Mom. I'm an attorney. Oh, yeah, whatever. He sells cars. You sue insurance companies. Is he still eating pancakes? I'm sure he is. Hey, I can hear that click on my phone. Sounds like you got a call coming in. Why don't you grab that? It's okay, Mom. They can call back later. It's your birthday. Maybe someone wants to sing to you. <laughs> I don't think so. They can leave a message. Oh, no. No. W what's wrong, Mom? Are you okay? They've started, haven't they? What started? The calls. The calls? What calls? Hi. This is not a sales call. Please don't hang up. Are you old and stupid? How would you like the best deal of your life on whatever it is I'm selling? But actually, I'm not selling you anything, so don't hang up. Hello? Do you need a woman in your life? Did you just ruin your chances with the one? Our scientists have just produced a world-changing hair product that will make you irresistible to any woman. What? Is that even possible? Yes, it is. Any woman within a 10-foot radius will be biologically programmed to fall in love with you after getting a whiff of this. This scent comes from 10 complete 24-hour days of scientific research. Wow. That's a long time. Simply wash your hair like normal with your favorite unscented shampoo. Then just add two cups of babe tonic to your hair. Bam. You're the man. I'm the man? Press 1 now to take advantage of this life-changing offer. Limited quantities available. Press one now. What are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? Bam! I'm the man! Hello, best mayor this town has ever seen.
That's best mayor this town has ever had, Mouse. Not seen. Don't forget it. You're right. This town doesn't see their mayor very often. You led me right into that one, Mouse. Don't get me riled up. But it's so much fun, best mayor this town has ever had, sir. Why are you in such a good mood, Mouse? I'm going to the golf course. After you called this morning, I didn't think it was going to happen. Is that all you can say? Where's Liz? Liz has met a new mouse. Is Kay involved? Why would Kay be involved? This is blackmail. This is blackmail, right, Mouse? You don't want to hear this, but we've been played. You think she planned this? Oh, I know she did. Hold on. You think there's more going on? I think it's already been done. She wants to go one-on-one -on -one with Kay. Don't say that, Mouse. There's only one way that can happen. Liz picked the wrong mouse to play with. I know it's gonna get ugly, but she hasn't got a chance. Not with Kay. You can count on it. I miss my friend. Change the subject. Are you ready for football season? You betcha! I'm sure you are, Mayor Mac. Mac. Mac and cheese. Mouse, one of these days I'm gonna fire you. You and I both know you can't fire me. Oh, really? And why is that? Because you're the best, mostly retired cheesehead mayor this town has ever had. And you're not an idiot. You're not an idiot, are you, sir? Mouse, you're fired. You can't fire me, Mac. I work for the government. Agent Mouse speaking. If you're answering like that, you're not alone. Should I call back? Sorry, bro. You were right. We found a body in the park. Mama, 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 mama. 